Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in Pennsylvania today. He delivered a speech at the state's GOP leadership conference happening just across the river from the capital of Harrisburg. This, of course, happening amid former President Trump's indictment and growing speculation as to whether DeSantis is going to gear up for a presidential campaign of his own and make that announcement at some point. NBC's Dasha Burns is at that event in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. Dasha, what are some of the points that he is making right now? Some key moments from his speech, and is he capitalizing on the current situation with the former president. Well, Richard, the Florida governor received a warm reception here. This is an event that gathers leaders from across the state in the Republican Party, local elected officials, GOP operatives, and voters from across the state. And he received a standing ovation from the crowd here when he walked into the room. He received applause throughout his speech where he hit on some of his big successes that he points to in Florida. He talks about education. He talks about immigration. He talks about uh, some of those culture war issues, using the word woke a lot throughout his speech. That's something that we've come to see a lot when he um, makes these sorts of remarks. The backdrop to this is, of course, the indictment of the former president. And we were wondering whether or not he was going to address it. He did, in fact, make uh, remarks regarding that. Take a listen to what he said. And now you have this Manhattan district attorney. So now he turns around purely for political purposes and indicts a former president on misdemeanor offenses that they're straining to try to convert into felonies. That is when you know that the law has been weaponized for political purposes. That is when you know that the left is using that to target their political opponents. And I can tell you this, uh, these Soros-backed DAs they are a menace to society. They are a menace to the rule of law. You could hear the enthusiasm from the crowd there. And look, he is in Pennsylvania right now. Let's remember he was just in Georgia earlier this week, and he will be headed to Michigan next week. What do all these three states have in common? They're all swing states that the former president lost in 2020, and he lost again via his proxy candidates in 2022. So make of that what you will. Of course, DeSantis has not yet announced a run for president, uh, but he did close his speech saying that he is going to fight, uh, saying that he is going to show a little bit more uh, in the coming weeks and months. So a lot that we are looking out for uh, from this candidate. Yeah. When it comes to the crowd, though, Richard, there was a split. There were folks that were for DeSantis, folks that were for Trump, and a good amount of people that said it's still early. I'm going to watch and see what happens and make up my mind later, though the establishment does seem to be in favor of DeSantis right now just by looking at the invitation list, which did not include the former president, according to the Trump campaign, Richard.